Okay, this one is WTA. It's in Guadalajara from September 2023. Fernandez against Kenin. Going to be trading it on Betfair using the match odds market. I will be using the Geeks toy trading software. As usual, all comments are left in, all trades are highlighted. If you do find the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. So, welcome to the stream on a rainy Thursday evening. Kenin's still got that strap in on a leg. It's just for show. Just in case anybody hasn't been on one of these before, I'm just going to pass on as much information as I can. Basically, a running commentary throughout the match. What I'm thinking, what I'm looking at, why I'm about to do what I'm going to do, why I'm not going to enter a trade, etc. etc. If you're really new to tennis trading, we're on the match odds market on Betfair. Okay, here's the toss. Okay, Kenyon's won the toss and is going to receive. So while they crack on with their photos and warm up, I'll just go through the notes for the match. Played once before, that was September 2020 on a hard court. She won that in two sets. Uh, 12 month hard win percentages, better for Kenin. Fernandez lost in the first round last year. Uh, has not lost a set this week. She made the quarterfinals in Cleveland, third round Montreal, second round in Washington as qualifier. Quarterfinals in Auckland. Kenin also not lost a set. Reached the final last week in San Diego which was quite an achievement when I thought she was going to retire two matches prior to the final. Uh, third round in Miami, semis in Hobart. 12-month hard stats, better for Kenin overall. Three-month stats, also a little better for Kenin. I think we've got a good chance of three sets. Now, that price must have moved. Kenin, when I wrote this, uh, was 185. She's now underdog. Okay. So that's going to have to change. Initially, when she was 185, I was, I was looking to back her around about 2.2 to 2.3. Liability out at 1.65. And laid a set one winner. Um, that's quite a difference. 20 tick move or so. So because I expect three sets, I'm just going to play it by ear. But I would say if a player does get... Chances are a player's going to get a break. I'd be looking to lay her as long as the price is reasonable. Now, why has that price moved so much? <clears throat> Suppose with the roundabout evens, it's not absolutely massive, but something's caused it. Maybe they read my email and decided that not a chance. Maybe in Kenning to win this. So the quality of tennis has been a little bit better this week. Although if I had a pound for every time one of my players had a, a love 30 lead against serve and came back to 30 all, probably have 12 pounds. So almost time to start. End of Huama. Okay, here we go. 42,000 matched on the market. <coughs> Any problem with liquidity in this one? Don't break straight away. So often in these streams, my favoured player gets a break straight away. Which isn't an issue if you're expecting three sets, as long as it does go to three sets. It's a massive crowd doing their best to create some atmosphere. My scores have got the stats wrong already. They'll correct it. And we get the first break point. I don't think there's enough people for a Mexican wave, is there? I notice there's no Mexican word for tiebreak. Or if there is, the uh, umpire didn't know what it was. Second serve, is it going to be a break? It is. The price isn't massively attractive, but I'm going to place a lay. Uh, let's hope it does turn out to be a close one. Obviously, even if you're expecting it to go to three sets, and it does go to three sets, you don't know who's going to win the first one. So I've still got to be careful with stake size, etc. So that was a pretty ropey first service game for Fernandez. See how Kenyon's going to serve. So we're having just one point against serve. We're going to have another one. Kenyon finding the lines already. So we're going to get lucky right at the start. Probably not. Was that our first second serve point? Yeah, the bandage was there most of last week. Part of the reason I thought she was going to retire in the... Uh, who was she playing against? Was it Volinex? Seems like a long time ago. 
Must be two inches thick. Okay, we've had a juice, but no break point. Okay, let's see if Fernandez can do better in this one. I don't know why it is so often in these streams, the player that I favour gets a break right at the start. First sodding game. And I get forced into a plan B. So Fernandez looks like she's struggling in this one. I'm not going to stick with this too long. <laughs> can always get out and just see how things develop. Obviously got to be a better game than the last one. That's not encouraging. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. An ace. No way. Trouble is now she's going to go for another big serve and probably miss it and then double fault. Ooh, she didn't. Not a great record for breaking back, Fernandez. That's a better game, though. So, Fernandez, after two games, 50% first serves in. She's only lost one point on first serve. One from five on second. It's going to be an issue if that continues. Two double faults, two aces. Uh, much better. Sorry, hers is just corrected to 55% first serves. Kenning, 78% first serves. 71% on first serve. Lost just two points. And lost one point on second serve. One double fault. So, early advantage to Kenning. Surely that leg's going to start hurting at some point. I mean, anything over 50%, really. Not that it means a great deal, because a lot of the uh, matches in the st included in the stat won't have been against players of this calibre. Just gives a bit of an indication. I mean, I'd like 100%, but you don't get it, do you? If it was flash scores, it'd be 120%, and then they'd correct it to 93. Oh, I'm babbling already. Only 12 minutes in. Strap in, it's going to be a long night. Should get to juice in the last game. Not looking like getting to juice in this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Come on. Second serve. Under one of those matches, is it? Why isn't her leg hurting? Oh, juice. Juice again. Two double faults. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, a break point even. Where did we end? At 162. Uh, I don't trust her, but let's just take a tiny bit out. Well, a fair chunk, to be honest. Wish I hadn't taken any out now. How often do you say that in a day? Also, wish I'd laid more at the start. Nah, because a double fault takes the other player out of the equation. Doesn't matter how shite they're playing, the other if the server double faults, they still get the point, the other one. Feel selfish. I've got enough grey hairs, thank you. Oh that was out, surely. Surely. And I thought it was out. Let's go with my call. How can they not find the mark? What other what other match were they watching? I don't know. Hmm. Mm. Maybe on the line. Come on, don't fall apart now that you've had a bad call. Let's have an ace. Let's have an ace for Dan. Let's have an ace that knocks her teeth out. Just needs to avoid second serves. Just one from six on second serve. Uh oh. Just jinx that, didn't it? You've got to win one sometime. Oh. Called out. Bet she finds the line. The point this time. In the booth. Oh, it's a fix. They can find that one. What's going on? Playing the bloody Hawkeye as well. <laughs> She's not going to be happy. I wouldn't be. So, can she recover from this disappointment as well? Probably not. She's going to be a bit peed off. Second serve. I've got to say, she's been a little bit unlucky in this game. Glad I took some out now. Great, back where we started. But with less liability at least. Right, somebody's just signed up. They signed up for. Okay, they've registered a username, saves time. Thank you very much. See, not only women can multitask, send the right email, which is not that one. Not that one. But this is exciting telling me just doing an email, isn't it? Just got time to send in the Trading email, which was there. 
And back in the room. Okay, Ken in 3 2. I really don't think she's going to get a break back this time. Fernandez must be feeling it's not her night. Don't know what that means, Soren. If you mean was there something wrong with my mic, probably because I was turn, had turned me back to the mic to uh, reply to an email on the laptop. Should be fine now. So I'm pointing the right way. Bit of pressure again. Just taking to juice in a first service game, broken in the last one. She's had to look on her side when it comes to line calls. There's broken in two of her three service games. It's not encouraging. Second one was really good. Hold to 15. Two from six on second serve. It's a hold 4 2. Because I took roughly half the liability out, I can stay with the late. But if she gets broken again, is it worth staying with it? Problem she's got is the first serve's fine, she's lost two points on it. 50% of first serves in. And she's won one of her eight second serve points. An awful combination. And here she goes again. Not many reasons to stay on this at the moment. That can always the change. Be nice if it changes quickly. What the market was going for sub 30. So I did favour Ken in pre match. Would have preferred a better price to back it. She got over the line calls, I think. I do tend to keep the stakes a little bit lower than normal. For the live streams, just a little bit more going on. But this is low even for a live stream. But as I'm favouring Ken in anyway, not too disappointed to have low liability. It sometimes pays to be cagey in the first set because as long as you keep it under control, maybe come out with a bit of profit from the first set, often it's second sets where you uh, can get the opportunities. Get a bit more in the market. Sound a posh, didn't it, for a northerner? Market. Not market. So, first serve percentage gone up to 59. Still two from nine on second serve. You've got a high first serve percentage, and for the women, that's probably anything above 65. You can get away with a low win percentage on second serve because you're not hitting that many. But definitely, if your first serve percentage is 50% or below, it just puts you under so much pressure if uh, you're hardly winning any second serve points, which sounds obvious. It is. So this is going to be a very dull set unless we get a break back. First point would be good. With a scoreboard pressure, no chance. 12 double faults, please. Sorry, Dan. Been a little pressure on the serve, the cannon serve. Tip to juice in the first, then broken. Did have 30 all in the last one. Kennan's first serve points one has dropped a little bit. Still getting the job done. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Come on, Layla. Give us a game. Certainly found some decent form as Kennan last couple of weeks. It's way too easy. Second serves are concerning me here. Do I get out and wait for set two? And perhaps miss Fernandez easy hold and easy break in the next one. I'm going to jump out. See, had about too much thought I'd miss the chance. So ideally she gets broken here. And we can lay Ken in at the start of the second. Those second serves are not filling me with confidence. Just watch, she's going to hold to love. Three second serve aces. Well, when I get out before the end of the set, what I'm really doing is giving myself a chance to have a look at how, in this case, Fernandez finishes the set. I say the second serves definitely is an issue. First serve's fine, she's lost three points on it. First serve percentage is increasing, but slowly. Certainly wouldn't be a big lay for... If I had to lay now, it wouldn't be a big lay. And certainly if Fernandez ends up serving first in the next set, look at her, she's going to break in this next game. In the next game. She won't. 
thing is with these situations you haven't got long to decide whether you're going to stay in get out because the oh, i almost missed it because the the price started moving around <laughs> it's the easiest hole she's had swine and as long as you've got a reason for getting out in this for me she has improved her second serve as well in that game as well but for me the second serve is an issue we're only on small stakes anyway so i'm not worried about obviously a single single figure red it's more likely than not she's not going to break in the next game but if she does we've got a half decent price to play about with and whilst obviously as i'm sure everybody does if you get out if you get get out of a position and it immediately goes the way that you wanted it to in the first place of course you're going to moan about it it's only human but really it's not a big deal you're protecting your bank as long as you do things for the right reason you're not going to get it right every time i certainly don't beat myself up for uh, making a wrong decision as long as there was there was a reason that i could articulate which is obviously easier to do when you're uh, on a live stream i do talk to myself a little bit when i'm not on a live stream and sometimes if you feel you just don't know which way a set's going just get out get out and reset what you don't want to do is sit there when things are going against you and end up with a 50 percent red or worse and you've got to try and get that back or but then you've got to control yourself to not try and get it all back in one go just add so many more problems all right so it looks like fernandez is going to be serving first in the next set Broken twice. First game you can almost forgive. Anybody can have a, a bad first service game. She then had a hole to 15, broken to 15, but then a hole to 15 and a hole to love. So a serve is going in the right direction towards the end of the set. I still don't trust her to serve the first game. First game of the second set, that is. Now as it's turned out, I'm going to save myself three or four ticks, but I wasn't certain she was going to hold that last service game. So perfectly comfortable with when I got out. Don't break now. Ooh, it's a bit slack. One thing Kenin has done in this set is when she's been ahead in her service game, she's just lowered the intensity just a little bit, which has allowed Fernandez to get back into a couple of the service games. Can she finish this? So is she gonna do the same again? She got it, okay. So options now are leave the match alone that would be boring maybe not a bad decision in this case can either wait for Fernandez to have her service game and then lay now the chances are if she holds it's not going to go up that far the price and if she gets broken you're getting to lay Ken in when she's just setting a break up which as you know if you've seen any of my videos that is a fantastic value entry even in matches that look like it's one-sided, so often setting a break situation will uh, will produce a break back. Or you can lay half your stake now, half after the Fernandez game. I'm going to wait in this case. You can back in at 134 if you like, but you ain't doing it with my money. I would say if you're considering backing at 134, yes, yeah, sometimes it's going to work out. It's awful value. You would uh, think you're probably joking, but just in case, there will be people who are thinking, well, I'm going to back, I'm going to back at 135. And I've done it before. When you think it's a really one-sided uh, game. In fact, I did it today. I did it today with, um, who was it? Was it Lynette? Against Massa over. To a bloody tie break, didn't it? The second set. That was brown trousers time, especially when she had a set point, Massa over. But what you don't want to do is do something like that when there's people watching. Because you look a brat. Okay, so Fernandez improved to serve the second half of that set. Damage was already done. Now yeah, she starts this one. Told you we should have backed Kenny. She doesn't want a second serve now. I'm reasonably happy that the way the second half of the set went, it is worth a lay in this set. Not going to go crazy with that. I thought I'd place to lay at 1.1 there. Very shoddy mouse work. Second serve. She's not holding this one. 
Oh, she's going to win second serve points, is she? Open four on second serve. No, that's not first serve, you muppet. Can't even read stats. Okay, let's break. Yeah, let's not let's not go silly with the late. Do favour Kenny to win. It's worth a little lobe. See if setting a break can work its magic. And maybe we'll get more money in the next match. This might turn around yet. Yeah. Wouldn't be the first time that a player goes a set and a break up and loses a set. Messes with the heads. It's magic. Oh, is it going to be a love 30 back to 30 or? That would be boring. Let's not do that. Let's not do it. Ugh. Oh, unbelievable. The magic's gone. <clears throat> At love 30, I was thinking I wish I'd laid more. I'm glad I didn't. She's done well from 30 hours, can it? And does again. One from three. On second serve. Oh, here we go. Not over yet. Kenny does hold a decision to make then. Do you stay with the late? Or do you just bail out and move on to the next one? You may not have to make that decision just yet. We have a break point. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a break point. Don't get excited. Stay calm. Bollocks. Okay, that's one break point missed. If she misses multiple, I'll be getting out after this game. Another one. Come on, setting a break. Whoa, that's a lot of stats. It's been triggered by the break points. If there isn't a break, most of those will disappear. Think positive, there will be a break. And it's a second serve. Two from six. Got to be a chance. There you go. There we go. Small liability. Don't really want to remove some at this price. Just give her a chance to hold. Why not? She gets broken again. Just bail out. See the magic of setting a break? I love setting a break. Love it. Don't blow the gift that setting a break has given us. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a double fault as well? You're not making any friends here, Fernandez. Come on, get your act together. Yeah, yep. Good serve. Come on. Only actually had two second serves in this one. This set. Stay away from second serves. Ugh. What did I just tell you? You're going to have to win some then. Second serves are very often quite different to, so I say second serves, second sets are often quite different to first sets. This one's looking quite similar so far. Oh, come on. Second serve, one from four. And she wins it. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. For a second. <sighs> Do I trust her enough? What a question. Do I trust her enough? Not to take any liability out. Only £38. Kenny's got to be rattled. Set a break up. She goes behind at the start of her game. Stay with it. Going to be brave. Brave. £38 liability. If it was £380 liability, that would be brave. Should really trade the same way whether you've got three, uh, 38 or 380 liability. I think even with 380, I'd be tempted to give a chance to get another break. Setting a break does things to their to their heads. They go setting a break up, think they've got it won, start maybe even thinking about the next round, and just lose enough intensity to let the other player back in. And then some players, Kenning's in decent decent form at the minute, so you would think a head's screwed on the right way. But some players can then panic when they think they've had it and it starts to slip away. Because it will have happened to them so many times. See how this one goes. That's a perfect start. Two from eight. Second serves. Here we go. She's rattled. She's officially rattled. Did that one? Don't really want to take any out. But go on, have this point. Be kind. Second serve. 
two from nine. It's got to be a chance. You bleep. Okay, I'm going to take... I didn't want to do it. Take some liability out. And then really treat it as a free bet. Try to leave as much of the tiny green as I could. Yeah, that's not worth it to shift. At this price, it's not worth it to shift the uh, green to Kenning. Need a convincing game here. Try and get something from this tiny money game. Oh, that was an ace, surely. Surely to God. Second serves again. She's actually got worse. Oh no. I got the worst serve in them for a second. My mind was wandering. <clears throat> Come on, get a grip. What I was going to say, Kenin's actually got worse second serve stats in this game, this set. That's a bad miss. Let's not get broken, shall we? Really not had a great day so far, Fernandez. She hits an ace. She is winning more second serves in this uh, first serve percentage. Needs to go up though. Second serve. Wonder if it's going to be juice. But yeah, there's no risk to losing money. But yeah, you want to uh, partly reduce. The red because Fernandez isn't having a good a good match. Taking some liability out, as you said, does improve the break even. I just looking at the whole picture, I favoured Kenin pre match. Fernandez hasn't played as well as I expected her to play. Bear in mind I still expected her to lose. And I just wanted to get to a point where because I didn't have much money in the market, I didn't want to take it all out because I'm trying to leave as much green on Fernandez just in case she comes back. <clears throat> and have, instead of having a free bet, just have a liability that is near as damn it a, three, a free bet. If I lose £16, I'm certainly not going to lose any sleep over it. And it just lets me leave a little bit more green in the market on Fernandez. She's hanging on by her fingernails at the minute. And partly as well, you really, as I, as I said a few minutes ago, I'm, I'm used to dealing with bigger bigger liabilities. I don't use massive liabilities. Maybe four or five hundred maximum these days. Occasionally I'll go higher, but it's very rare that I go above that. I think it's important that whatever stake size you're using, you trade it the same way. You've got to make the, the same decisions that you would. Uh, with more at risk it is easy to think and I'll be honest I'll do it myself that well it's only £16 I'll leave it to run <clears throat> if that was 260 or 360 would I leave it to run no of course I wouldn't so I am guilty of that myself but you should try and trade the same way regardless of what money you've got in there not easy to do we're human which is why I understand when I always advise people when they're starting out to use small stakes and that makes total sense because you're going to make mistakes. It does not make sense to let those mistakes cost you too much money. But the temptation is if you're only using say five pound stakes or even 10 pound stakes that you think, well, it's only five quid. doesn't matter if I lose it, but you get into bad habits then. No, it, maybe five pound doesn't matter. But if you get into those habits and then you're doing the same with £50 and £100 and more, it's hard to get out of those habits. Again, she's gone 30 level up. Fernandez back into it, put herself under pressure. Second serve. She's got worse second serve stats. There we go. Just be a little bit kind. Let us have something. Give us a third set. Second serve, 3 of 12 on second serve. And she wins that one. This is feeling like a match where Fernandez is just going to get close, but not actually get over the line for one of the sets. Kenin's opening enough doors for her in this set. She's just going to go through one. I'll go through another one. She's had one break. On the whole, Kenin doing well in the big points, which could well be the difference today. See if it was worth... Switching over to 
cannons, but it's not. It's more value staying on this as it is at the moment. Kenyon's level has definitely dropped in this set. Fernandez has just about lifted hers. It's not quite enough. Second serve. Chance. Four from 13. Oh. Oh. So, shall we take one? What do you reckon? Shall we take a break point or shall we blast it? Whoa! There you go. Let's give her a chance to take the set. I still don't want to take that liability out. Don't want to. Not going to. Probably should. After, after everything I just said a few minutes ago about trading it the same way, I really should. As we're getting near to evens. Mm hmm. Let's set a good example, shall we? I refuse to tidy up 8p. Not doing it. Now, around about start prices now. Don't break straight. I'm going to bring over the streaming graphs. Kenin in red. Let's see, first serve percentage has dropped. We knew that anyway. First serve rating. More constant for Fernandez. Just about keeping her nose in front. First serve points one. And you can see the improvement in the second serve there. And there's in blue, really improved the second serve in this set. And Kenin's just taking a bit of a nosedive. 5 2, good work. <clears throat> we should take any liability out now. So we've gone beyond start prices. So it's getting easier to see the drop in Kenin's level. Is that thigh? It's got to be something with it. Something wrong with the thigh to be strapped up for two weeks. Toying with the idea of just leaving this to run into the third. Assuming we get there. Just got to be careful when you make decisions based on injuries or perceived injuries. Kenin had all that strapping on last week, got to the final. Was that last week or the week before? It was last week, wasn't it? I was absolutely convinced she was going to retire earlier in that, in that tournament. Awful first set against Volinets. Didn't start particularly well in the second. She's going to retire. But why is she still playing? Wins the match. Gets to the final. Takes Krajikova to three. So Kenin has been broken. Held to 30. Broken. If she gets broken in this one, I think that suggests that she's got a problem. Having served well in that first set. If I did let this run into the third set, it means I'm going against my pre-match opinion. Not that I have an amazing record when the players do go to third sets. Jabber for one. What was she doing? Easy service hold. Okay, maybe she ain't got a problem. I make a living predicting the actions of women. I wonder I'm not living in a box. Or a mental institution. Well, apart from 8p, Risk for it. I can see what happens for the rest of this set. Hopefully it's over this game. Well, like I said, I'm quite tempted to leave this position to run into set three. The problem with that is, obviously Fernandez has built up some momentum here. But as we always see, or not always see, but so often see, a new set kills momentum. Um, I am just wondering if Kenning's not anywhere near the point of retiring but there's a reason why she's got that strap in on her leg I think the only chance I'm going to get a half decent result out of this is to let this run into the third set and for Fernandez to at least make the better start no guarantee she's going to hold here of course <laughs> is the momentum ending before the end of the set notice as soon as I started talking about Kenny struggling She's had an easy hold and now putting pressure on serve. Obviously a bit of added pressure for Fernandez just serving for the set anyway. Well, what a prawn. The line call gone her way, yeah. Marvellous. Marvellous. She'll win that game. 
Oh, well done. My scores have given up. Oh, actually, I think it's the feed from the uh, tournament. TP just updated before flash scores. Wow. Yeah, it's just 30 love up. I think Soren just backed uh, Kenin at 50 grand, 156. Probably a wise move. <coughs> Can she save the day and get a break? Come on. Take us to three. If we do go to three, the plan's changed, obviously. It'll be a hedge and wait for uh, <laughs> chance. We're going to three now. Come on, prove me wrong again. Six from 18 on second serve. Two points away. Oh, we've got a set point. Not sure the price is going to react as much as it did the last time. She go ahead. Let's not if she doesn't take it. Another one. Sixth break point of the set. She's taken two of them. Oh, I found a second serve. Finding these big points. Second serve. Six from 19. Stop winning second serves. I've got no idea which way this set's going. Could take the small green, just wait for the next match. Second serve, don't win another one. Yep. Can always hedge. I'll move all the green to Kenin. I guarantee Fernandez takes the set. Don't have the option to move the green to Kenin. But I think to get anything decent out of it at this sort of price, you've got to leave yourself some liability. Absolutely anything can happen in this set now. Stay with what I've got. Pray for a third. Gonna feel the pressure first. I'll say if anything, well obviously Fernandez has lost the momentum. Not sure Kenin's really taken it up. Close this one out. Under the circumstances, that's a pretty good hold. Pressure back on Kenin. <clears throat> it's gonna be a long stream if we do both matches. But we might as well. We do end up doing both matches when I do the recording. I'll split them up. Nobody wants to sit through a four hour video of me wittering on. Best to have a break in between. And there's a slightly better tie break record, but only one game in it. Pretty much easier just to break here. Keep the second serves coming. Second serve again. She's won that one. Shot. Where'd she find that one from? Good serve. 30 all again. Second serve. <laughs> Just done so well at 30 all in this match. It was a very tight shot. Understandably. <laughs> Did he just wipe his nose on his pants? No, surely not. Well, if it's a challenge, it's going Kenning's way. All the others have. There you go. So, are we going to tie break? We are. Oh, no, nothing on this game. So again, got the option to take the small green. Very small green. I don't know who's in better shape at the moment. Oh, I should blow the chances then. Old Fernandez. Time to exit this one was when Fernandez was 5-2 up. As I said at the time, I was thinking about leaving it to run into the third set. Because Kenning's level had dropped so much. And then she fought back before the end of the set. Could be interesting. Four points in a row. Let's hedge. Not that I don't trust you. 
actually is that I don't trust you. Set point on our own serve now. Second serve. Double fault. Set point. Second serve to stay in the set. Nope. Oh, cloud, cloud flare issue. So the figures have come together there on all the graphs. Slight lead for Fernandez on first serve point one. First serve percentage must have improved for Kennan. And about the same. Well, that's extended the length of the uh, stream significantly. I would imagine they're going to take a slightly longer break. I'm just going to make sure that my dogs are okay. Not crapping all over the kitchen. I'll be back in two or three minutes.